can also not be found. We can't find the arms. We also cannot find the money. Human rights lawyer Femi Falana has urged Nigerians not to be deceived into thinking that the United States will send troops to Nigeria to help combat the insecurity currently facing the nation. Since 2009, the cry for help in prosecuting the counter-insurgency operation had fallen on the deaf ears of the leaders of the West. Instead of giving Nigeria the false impression that the United States is going to send troops to defend them, America is just, Biden is just withdrawing American troops from Afghanistan. They are not coming here. Don't be deceived. Falana, who made the statement while speaking at an event in Abuja, also said several decades of legacy of misrule and bad governance, corruption and diversion of Commonwealth, and anti-people's policies are some of the reasons for insecurity, and added that the collapse of the security architecture of the country is due to the diversion of huge funds and marked for the procurement of arms and ammunition for the armed forces and the police by successive regimes. He are marked for procurement of arms and ammunition for the armed forces and the police by successive regime, according to ASCA, about $15 billion have been diverted by a coterie of army generals. According to the NSA, $1 billion recently approved for procurement of arms can also not be found. We can't find the arms, we also cannot find the money. On appeals to the United States for help by the Buhari administration, the human rights lawyer reiterated that the cry for help in curbing insurgency operations will not work as the federal government has been accused of failing to account for prolonged detention of thousands of people in military camps without trial and the extrajudicial killings of unarmed protesters by the military and the police. Hence, it will be laughable to think that any help will come. Even though the Buhari administration was allowed by America, was strict by America, to pay the sum of $329 million for 12 super Tucano fighter jets in November 2018 to aid the counterinsurgency operations in the Northeast region. The jets have not been delivered up to now. He says the federal government should be compelled to embark on mass recruitment of military and police personnel, equip and motivate them to defend every part of the country. All states and local governments should proceed to set up defense committees constituted by young men and women in every community to collaborate with the police in securing the lives and properties of our people.